Welcome to Free From Fuel to the Nano Workshop. The first eight episodes show you what this is all about. Now here is the first DIY lesson. We will make a nano coating for copper wires. Simple and free of costs. From scrap, a campfire and a bucket of water. We can use the nano coated copper wires for a lot of fascinating experiments. But this for later. In the second part of the film, I show you a more sophisticated variant for those who like it complicated like me. We use chemicals then instead of a campfire. Okay, here we go. Take an old cable. We just need the wires inside. Cut the cable into pieces of 50 centimeters each with a pair of pliers. Open the hole with a sharp knife and get the wires out. Dismantle the wires with a wire stripper. Screw in the bare cords and wrap them around a pencil. Just like that. Makes a fine copper coil. You can also use brand new copper wire from a wire coil, but an old cable also does it. Dismantle with a wire stripper. That's the same, just seen from above. On the left, universal pliers, in the middle a wire stripper and on the right a wire cutter. Wrap the bare wire around a marker. You will get a fine coil like this. On the bottom, in left hand rotation, on the top, in right hand rotation. We will need them for the car battery experiment. We show you this later. Now for the action part. You light up the stove or make a good campfire from wood or wood charcoal. Place a bucket of cold water next to the fire. Now put the copper coils into the fire until they are hot and black. With some white coating from the ashes. Then take the coils and hold them into the water. It makes a fizzling noise. And back into the coals, until they are hot again. And back into the water. And back into the fire again. You repeat this for about 30 times. Into the fire, into the water, into the fire, into the water, and so on. Repeat it for 30 times with every single copper coil. Okay? And with every step, the copper gets more coating layers. This is what we want. The coil is uh, far from elegant now, <laughs> looks crumbled here, but it will work nevertheless. And back into the water, 30 times in a row. Now, my coil really got crumbled here, but this is okay. In the end, it looks like this. Let it cool down in a heat-proof spot. Here's a close view in the sunlight. My very first natural nano coating. This was the simple method to nano coat a copper wire. And now we do the same in a much more difficult way. I promised to show it to you. This is what we will do. 
Instead of a fire, we use NaOH and some other things. And that's how we do it. This is a 1 kg pack of NaOH, sodium hydroxide, caustic soda. We just need 60 grams of it. It comes in small white pellets. Never touch with bare hands, always use gloves. Next we need a piece of aluminum foil, rip it into small pieces and crumble them, like this. Then we need a fireproof base, the paper just gives the camera a better sight. And a heat resistant bowl. Put the crumbs of aluminum foil into the bowl. Add 60 grams of sodium hydroxide, NaOH and add the threads of three coca-cola plastic bottles. <laughs> yes, uh, only their threads are made from a different material than other brands. It consists of a carbon compound that will dissolve in our mixture. We could now pour boiling water on top already. But as it's the vibration, the information we work with here, I decided to add some leaves and herbs, some rose petals, Many others on the web experiment with herbs and plants too. Some salvia leaves. Watercress currently populates our garden like wheat. Perhaps this has a meaning. So I put it into the solution. And I we. into the solution. And remember, put on gloves. They have to be waterproof and much stronger than these. Pour one liter of boiling water into the bowl. Take care not to inhale the vapor. and do this outside. And immediately put the lid on. Take care that as little vapor as possible is lost. The vapor must stay inside. Within the first minutes you can watch the aluminum foil dissolve. So be very careful. After three hours it's cooled down and looks like this. Looks a bit disgusting, but uh, mostly harmless. Doesn't smell as bad as it looks, but I think you shouldn't trust my nose. I poured it into this measuring jug, but it was too small. I should have poured it directly into the bottle, if I'd had a cone. Pouring and pouring. The bottle is not suited for food anymore. Please mark appropriately and store safely. Mount a spray head from the sand shop. And use good gloves. This really burns the skin. And now Screw tight, the vapors must stay inside. Our coating is ready for use. This is the chemical variant. Well, just holding the copper into the fire would have been much easier. But some of you perhaps like to do it this way. Uh, by the way, after a week, my coating storage bottle looked like this. The thread totally disintegrated, just like before when we mixed the solution. So don't store this in a Coca-Cola plastic bottle. We are still not done yet. Now comes the nano coating. The fire and water method would have been much easier. So again, dismantle an old cable, 
and wrap the wires around a pencil to get a fine coil. An expensive wire also does it. Wrap around a marker in both rotations. Make sure that your coils will fit into the bottle in which the coating will take place. The copper coils go into a clean bottle. Taking the coils out again in the end was difficult, so please make sure you use a wide neck bottle. The narrow neck bottle I used here was no fun at all. Apply one or two sprays from the coating mixture. We don't need the solution here, but just the vapor. It's just a nano coating. Screw tight. Vapor now fills the inside, which will coat the copper coils within the next 24 hours. First, it looks like this. Put the bottle into the sunlight. After a few hours, it looks like this. Turn it around occasionally. And remember, use a wide neck bottle. Otherwise, you will have a hard time getting the coils out again. After a day, it looks like this. Everything is coated in black. But we are still not done. We now have to decrease the potential of the coils. The African uh, fire and water method is definitely a bit quicker though. We need a galvanized fence. You get such a roll from the hardware store. Or you ask your neighbor for some pieces. It just needs to cover the bottom of a bowl. Okay, and you need a bowl. Apply some sprays of your coating. This will slow down the copper drying. And put the galvanized fence into the bowl. Use a pair of pliers to put the freshly coated coils on top. Don't touch them with your fingers. Loosely close the lid. The coated coils will dry within the next one or two days. Now here this is a wider bowl so you can see more. And every few hours we decrease the potential in each coil. That means a current flows here and while we measure it, it goes down to zero. Switch a multimeter to DC and a millivolts Hold the minus to zinc and the plus to copper. Repeat this every few hours with every coil. Then loosely close the lid again. And with every measure, millions of nanographene layers build up on the coils. At first the scale will probably go down to zero, if not it's okay too. The more often you measure, the more the scale will start to wobble. So if the scale goes down to zero, hold on, it may go up again, it may go up or even go down to negative. The more often you measure, the stronger the wobble. Up, down, up, down, and don't stop measuring at zero. Negative values are okay too, 
all we want is the wobble. With every wobble, millions of nanographene layers build up on the coils. And that's what we want to achieve. As I said, even negative values are OK. And again, up, down, up, down, and so on. And then we measure the next coil, and so on. For the next one or two days, you repeat this with every coil every few hours. In total, that's about 10 to 12 measures for each coil. And always loosely close the lid after you measure. Repeat the measures until the current does not drop down to zero, but stays up, no matter which value it reads. Here, it's not about output, but pure information. And as we know, information does not have to be strong or loud. This is how the copper coils look like in the end. Don't touch them with bare hands. Always touch nano coatings with gloves only. Yeah, that's it. That was a sophisticated way to nano coat copper coils. In the next films we show you what to do with it. I am Andy. Thanks for your time, your patience and all the helpful hints. I wish you the best in life and happy crafting.